Hello guys, welcome back to Foxtrot Industries Let's Play of The Walking Dead. I am the Evil Dr. Porkchop. In the last episode, we finally arrived at Crawford to do the heist, there. and we um, are now looking for a battery. So, yeah. Um, that's... Oh, hello. Looks like it's the holes for the lift hydraulics. I need to lower it somehow. Because hydraulic hose... Okay. If I can take it, I'll take I don't it. I think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something... Like I wonder who has that? So, Molly, about me interrogating you, um, can I have your thing? Pretty please? Something you need? Think I can borrow that, uh, hook thing of yours? Yep. I don't know. Hilda and I have been Hilda? through a lot together. You named it Hilda. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I mean, people get attached to sentimental shit all the time. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Like, my mom used to have her car and she used to call it Bessie. You know. It's just like, it's just weird. Um, People just get attached to um, things, you know. But in this kind of scenario, I guess it makes some kind of sense. I did it. Uh, whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No, no yeah, no, shit. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, I didn't do it on bloody purpose. I'll try to hold them off. Hurry. There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Right. So, um, okay. Can't pick up the battery. Punch. Still attached to the terminals. Okay, let's. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say we can't. Um. It's off. The negative terminal's still screwed on. Yeah, all right, I know. I'm screwing it. Got that one off. How can you lift the barrel? You realize how like, heavy car barrels are. I'll carry it. Never can. What? Okay, follow me. I suppose it's better to carry it in the barrier, but still, car barriers are not Move low. Your ass. You know what I mean? You know exactly like things walk around with it. Oh my Jesus. Come on, you gotta have me up now. Go, bro. Thank you. I thought you were just gonna walk leave me. You know, because you're gonna hit your ass off. You're an asshole. Asshole, man. Asshole. Right. So we're gonna go on. What? Yeah, we're on the roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Jesus, that's a pretty good. That's like the hook from Assassin's Creed. Like Come on, what are you chicken? Jump. What? What did you call me? Did you just call me chicken. What did you call me? Ah! <laughs> burk, burk, burk. Now that you mention it. Oh, oh God. Paco. <laughs> Got it. I got it. It's fine. You, you guys won't get it, but I got it. Don't call me a fucking chicken. I prefer turkey. Okay. Right. Oh dear. Uh. Once again, back in this creepy school. Oh, that's the. Oh, that's the hole in the roof. Come okay. Because I wondered. Wait, I thought we still left where you had to go. What? Catch you later. Uh, Wait, you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! Molly, come on. Damn it, what the hell is she doing? That girl's always everywhere. Right, um. So I guess I'll well, talk to you. You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Yep. Um. Okay then, I guess I'll go back to the classroom. I guess. I don't know, it's a good question. Um hmm. Get back to class. Little help Ah. Uh, uh, Little hi. help here Ah Dude. Come on, Penny. Got this. Fuck, the door's 
won't close all the way. Lee, do something! What we got? Break the door with something! Oh, and I am. That's good. Damn well better. There's so many of them. You got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yeah. yet. Let's get the back to the oh. classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Alright, let's go. Well, that's alright then, at least. Well, you know. You're back. Yeah, of course yeah. we are. And we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. You How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Molly's got it. <laughs> yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Um, right. Uh... So let's go, um, I guess we're gonna go help Oh, Christo and um, Vernon then, I guess. Vernon. It's a very old person's kind of name. Not, not disrespecting anyone to call Vernon, but, you know, it's just, it does do it. Like, you do think Vernon, I think of an, I think of an elderly person. Like, it's a very, um, old-fashioned name, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to be horrible. I'm just, I'm, I'm not trying to be horrible, I'm just cool as I see it. There we go. Shit. Here we go. Let's do this. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Shit. <laughs> Get back on me. Unlimited ammo, bitches. <laughs> I love the fact that I, I missed like several shots. I didn't even have to reload or anything. I just wanted to go, shit, reload. Hey, it's just me. Didn't you hear all the gunshots? What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Uh, wait, what? Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Oh, so we need a combination. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try Why not? It open. It's a video game, you know, it's logic. Choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Yeah, okay, um, alright. So, we can't shoot here. That'd be stupid. Papers, phone, medical file. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? What is this? What is this bullshit? Um, we've got a video player? Uh, we should have. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. What's this on the floor? Uh, I'll put the cassette in. I'm assuming the camera's working. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. What is it, old movies? It's day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations okay. and consultations. I need you to Dude. brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh god, oh god, oh god. 
As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. Oh, that's horrible. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. Oh, that's... I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, oh dear. don't have a choice. That's horrible. If you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Yeah, I kind of... Nah, that's horrible. I bet I do understand like it's a zombie apocalypse. You can't raise a child in that kind of situation. Damn it! But... We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. But still, Lee, maybe there's another tape. We got to keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Maybe. Um, let's go to the drawers. Nothing in them? Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Well, you, there might be some, there might be some tapes. You don't know. Yeah. Fuck quit. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Like, I, I like I say, I do understand why the abortion was necessary in this situation because of the zombie apocalypse and you know the problems with policy. Still doesn't make it right. It's the point of like, morality, and that's just the thing. We've got you got to have your morals against logic. It's that's that's the complaint: morality versus logic. Because logically, it makes sense, but. Morality doesn't it doesn't it doesn't justify it at all. So it's up to you as a person to decide, I guess. It's the best way to describe it. Um Yeah, that's horrible man. Like Jesus. What are we gonna do? Oh yeah, I gotta go up the shelving, I guess. Oh, again. Okay, sorry, it's a bit further up. Um, this game. Probably the shell's gonna break. Oh, hello. Hey, buddy. It's all leg. How did I not break under my weight? Because I've already done that twice. I mean, once, I you might get away with. But twice is like, eh. Yeah. Stumping. Sorry, buddy. It's my hat. Search him. Search his body. Is he what he has on? This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Uh, maybe it's the look we, um, saw before. Oh, hello. Hi. Shit. Time to go. Maybe it's the, um, the locker, um, that I, uh, saw in the, in the passenger. I think it is, because if it's only a four digit, then, then it's locked. Excuse me. Um... Uh, where am I? Uh, this way? Uh, I think it's this locker? Locker. This must have been this locker. The tape. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's hand up at the nurse office. See what she shares. found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. 
That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Let's watch some home movies. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. Yeah, pretty I'll much. the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh, dear. Well, you're in a medical office. How can you bleed out? I understand, like, if you stab in the stomach or whatever. I do understand that kind of logic. Know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, but you're in an office with medical supplies. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? Yeah, what's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. Well, we all know what's happened. All we right. all know what it is. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much as yeah, pretty much. Carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. Maybe. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. Yeah, you can We'll head it. back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. I want to watch it. Because you don't have to watch it necessarily, do you? At the end of the day, you could just leave. But there's they, the game makes a point of it. Like, maybe there's a third tape. What on the third tape? You know, so it's a bit... I like that kind of game. It's, like, it's completely optional if you want to watch it or not. Well, hello. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overseer uh, went down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. So we had a deal. Yes, we yeah. had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? So Molly was part of Crawford all this long, all this time. So that's yeah. the reason she, you know, knew all this stuff about it. Is because she's part of Crawford. But again, it's kind of obvious if you think about it, kind of the situation, you know. I, you kind of predict it because she's like, well, how do you know so much about it? Unless, you know, you were here. And, you know, she knows all about how Crawford was. So basically, it's kind of predictable, I guess. But still a nice reveal. So um, let's go. Let's go. I'm going to ask her about it, though. When we see her. I'm going to ask her and say, hey. Molly, you there? I oh, know she's not there. No. Oh, there she is. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Well, I did call her, to be fair, so you know. Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. What? I'm just kidding. Ah, oh, don't fucking do that. That's not funny. Here you go. Thank you. But I got a couple questions first. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from. Crawford. Yeah, I know you're yes? from. Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. Yep. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? 
Are we really gonna do this now? Yeah, down road. That's yeah. up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself yeah. in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Pretty much. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place and their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. Yep. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. Yeah. I just wish I could have seen it before. You don't need to explain yourself. Just, they came just, I don't like liars. Liars away. is the worst. I understand. But you don't need to lie. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I yeah, understand. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus! Chip! Ben. Hi, Ben. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Oh, n Ben. Ben. Uh, ben. Ben? Where, where, yeah, where did you, you get, get that? that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Oh, shit! Oh, shit. Nice. Lee, shoot this fucker! Thanks. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Good going, kid. Nice shot. Yay! Go, Clementine. Did something. I missed my shot completely. Oh, okay. Because if you missed the shot with her there. Um, with our come time there, you have the fuck is going shot, on? They're coming. She just runs off. Oh shit! That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Good damn. Come on, damn you! This is my fault. All my fault. Oh. The hell's he babbling about? Man, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean? This is all your yeah, fault. Yeah, this is not the time. Penny. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Fine. Go ahead. Tell him. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Right. Wait, wait. Oh, wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Ah, uh, she... Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. We gotta focus on getting out of here. You little piss ant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Yeah, Kitty, just calm down. Listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Um. Nice group you got here. <laughs> Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right uh, here. Well. well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Absolutely, you do. Good old democracy. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. 
we don't leave friends behind. Yeah. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. Yeah, pretty much. Is not what the, about this the is rest not the of time. us? Don't we get a say? Ooh, you're in half of our group. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> now can we go? Yeah, what Damn are we supposed right. to fucking Burn time arguing about it? Seriously, you still have to have an argument about it. I know, obviously, it's an important issue, but now it's not the fucking time. Right. Anyway, I think. We will end it there here. So uh, thank you um, very, very much for watching, and we will catch you guys in the next part. Bye bye.